You guys figured it out. It really is an emotional, beautiful journey that you take us on. Thank you. Um, and an inspiring one. When you yeah, set out to do so. this, no, it definitely was. When you set out to do this, um, how did you guys realize that you could blend family, take the family with you, or did you even know that this would work out like this? I think it was never a question. I think that we, I mean, when Carrie and I found each other, he's my person, I'm his person, and that's how we roll. He would roll on tour with me, and I would chase his super cross, and it's just how we do it, and we're lucky to do that, and the kids just blend in, and we make, I've, I've rearranged every fa facet of my life to include them and it's beautiful because they're really cool kids yeah. and they thrive. I mean, we have a real village on tour and all the, all the crew and the wardrobe and the dancers and the band and lighting and rigging and everybody gets along and my kids get to see that you could do so many different things. You don't have to be the singer. You don't have to be the guitar player. Right. You can sew and play with hot glue guns and build things and weld stuff. Like, we just show them everything. And the most important lesson, I think, is that it's important to be a good person. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I hope that's what we're doing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> Talk I mean, to me in 10 years. You're giving up luggage and everything for the kids. I gave up seven pieces of luggage. Thank that's you. That's a lot. For right. the kids. Yeah, yes, the I children. did that. That was very giving. Yeah. It's called generosity. You're doing good, baby. You're doing good. Yeah, the generosity. How do you guys handle it as parents when you're out there and something may happen, maybe a temper tantrum with the kids or they're not happy about something? That's every day. <laughs> That's every day. And it's usually me. <laughs> No, you I'm the one having the temper tantrum. Carrie, <laughs> <laughs> how do you handle that? With Jameson you? comforts me. Jameson Aww. comforts me. No, I'm. I mean, we have a really wicked sense of humor, yeah. and we've got a lot of support. If if Willow's being a pain in the ass, she can go with the wardrobe girls. They'll take her. It's They'll teach her how to sew a pillow, yeah. and then she comes back happy. There you go. So it all works out. Mostly, I send them to catering. Get the food. And then they're happy. The and they're happy. <laughs> um, was there any, when you guys were putting this together, obviously documentaries are kind of, you know, you're putting your whole life out there. Mm -hmm. Did you have any worry or did you guys discuss that together? Of like, hey, maybe there's too many things we're showing. When did we discuss it? Uh, there wasn't much of a discussion. I just <laughs> We discussed it two nights ago. Yeah, oh yeah, two nights ago. She asked me how I, <laughs> if there's anything that I didn't feel comfortable about in the movie. I was like, well, it's kind of a little late now, isn't it? It's on purpose. It's yeah. too late. So we just go with it. There you go. No, we just rolled with it. I mean, I'm glad that, you know, through Alicia and her whole camp and Michael Gracie and everybody, it, it shouldn't be censored. Like, why do it if it's just going to be propped and right. fake, you know? So, and I think what she does on the road is really special, yeah. you know, doing it as a family unit and doing it. I mean, all her bandmates have been with her for decades, and I think there's yeah. something amazing to show there. I think it's more than just what she's doing on stage, but the story behind what happens behind the scenes. Does that all that trust come from, also, by the way, happy belated 15 year anniversary of January? Where's my trophy? <laughs> right. <laughs> Does it come from that? Do you guys continue to just build that trust and that friendship? Yes, I think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably like any marriage. Yeah. It's day by day. But we do, we like a lot of the same things. And I mean, <laughs> it helps that he's gorgeous. Um, no, we're very good friends. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we can laugh together and we can like, I'm going to take a minute. We've learned to take a minute. Let's put it that way. Breathe. But everything we do in both of our lives has always been a hundred percent yeah. and completely transparent and open yeah. and that we do everything that way we do our marriage that way our parenting touring um, bike building everything that we do is just balls to the wall yep full commitment mm -hmm. and it's nuts but it works yeah well I, I appreciate that about you too uh, I want to get a quote out here and make sure I say it right there's an article you said I think we navigated through it as good as a tw as a 20 year old girl can when you're referring to Britney Spears yes. Christina Aguilera back yes. in the day how does that how does a 20 year old girl navigate during that time do you ever think back to that moment well I don't think young girls are taught especially you know my generation no one's taught how to get along Right. We're not taught how to pay bills. We're not taught how to be friends. We're not taught how to have relationships. We're taught geometry and history and, and science. But so I would say at 20 years old, the fact that I think and, and being public figures and celebrities that young, I think we navigated the waters as well as we could. And we've had many discussions since, you know, we've all grown up together. Right. 
and sort of um, par in a parallel way. I've had many talks with Christina that have been beautiful that the world will never know about because it's much easier to say that we're catty and we don't like each other. Mm -hmm. But actually we do. And I respect the shit out of her. And mm -hmm. I think she does the same for me. And Brittany, I mean, I couldn't love her more. Right. I, I couldn't love her more. And I want to I wanna be there for her. And I always did. It's just at 20, you don't really know how. Now I'm a 41-year-old mom of a 9-year-old girl yeah. that I would, I would blow up the world for. So, you know, I have only love for those girls. Absolutely. And it shows even still to this day. And I love how you raise your daughter and Thank your son. You. you guys are killing it. As and well. the new generation of girls, they're badass. Like they, they are total, totally supportive of yeah. each other. Yeah. And I love seeing that. It fires me up because the media can't play that game anymore. It's not really about, oh, well, she did this and she's, it's the, nobody, nobody does that anymore. And yeah. it's wonderful. I think in that way, we've made a lot of progress. Absolutely. Well, listen, we're talking about your daughter. I know we got to get out of here. Give her these because you said when she's 11, she wants tickets. And Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> she's going to Hogwarts. <laughs> You're adorable. Like, oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to hug you so bad. I'm vaccinated. I'll, I'll hug your leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're both back. Don't breathe. But yes, I had to stop. I was like, you guys don't have any hard paper here to print this on. But yes. I'll frame them. Yes. Thank Tell you. Tell her we love her. I will. <laughs> That's too, so sweet. <laughs> She's going to be so happy. And I, by the way, share in the music video. Share. Shares in my music video. Love How it. How does that happen?